Hi, my name is Lemire of Lemire Tea and Family Photography, your undisputed leader in youth sports and portrait photography. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel. Give us some thumbs ups and some likes along the way. Lemire C. and Family Photography proudly presents Framing and Cropping 101. This is going to be an in-depth look at how to properly frame and crop youth sports photos. While we'll be primarily focusing on framing and cropping, we will touch on some proper hand, foot, and head placement some of the little things, whether it's hair bands, positioning of balls, uniforms, things of that nature. But again, primarily focusing on framing and cropping to take your photos from being good to being great. A lot of in-depth in things we'll go over, some small things, I know you'll enjoy it. Starting with, when good gets going. Here's a typical youth sports photo with a lot of play at the top, a nice amount of play at the top, but not so much on our ball hand side. I like how we cropped it just above the knees, about about mid thigh, but we can zoom out a little bit more or step back a little bit more so that we can have some more play on the ball hand side. Overall, very solid photo. Like the pose here, we varied it up a little bit from having the child go down. Uh, not a lot of play on the foot side and a lot of play at the top and the bottom of this photo, which you'll have with a photo like this. But since we did fill the frame with the child, uh, it's not bad as a, at all. Love how the logo is facing directly towards the camera on the ball as well. Uh, the offhand is doing good as well. This one can stand to be brought up just a little bit more or angle the camera down. What I mean by that is the head of this young lady should be a little bit higher in the frame. Nice use of the frame, even nice use of the leg being kicked out a little bit, and that hand on the hip could probably stand to come down just a little bit. It's pretty much on her side of her stomach more than her hip. Uh, in the ball, the logo could be turned towards the camera as well. Good pose. Nice play on both sides. We could stand to crop this one maybe about uh, mid-thigh, just below the thigh pads. Uh, that way we can zoom in a little bit more, not have so much play at the top of the photo. This one's very similar. We've got a little bit more play than needed at the top of the photo. A nice tilt of the head uh, and nice crop at the bottom where we didn't chop off any fingers. We could stand to have that ball either turned a little bit more towards the camera or the body of the child turned a little bit more towards the camera so that we can see that ball along with the logo that we can see on the shirt as well. This one's a little bit more tighter in the frame, maybe just a tad too tight in terms of the top of the head to the top of the frame. We definitely wanted to get the whole bat in just as we did. Nice use of the play on the left and right hand side. We could probably stand to crop this a little bit more uh, higher, I should say at the mid thigh, but very solid. First thing with this one is the child seems to be tilted a little bit. We may have been handheld with this one or the tripod is angled off a little bit but nice use of the frame got this one pretty much filled a little bit more, too much play on the left and right hand side but you'll have that with a pose that's standing straight up and down maybe we have have a hair band on that ball hand side but good use of the ball placement as well this photo is one of my favorites I love how this one is looking uh, directly at the camera in terms of the face and uh, the body, although it's turned a little bit too much from the camera, it works for this picture. Got the whole bat in. Looks like we cropped it about mid-thigh, uh, so that one looks good. 
we probably end up cutting down on the top of it in terms of the play just to get it in this template uh, but very solid this is actually wall worthy as this this one as well we did a good job in getting the full photo meaning we're not cutting off any feet things of that nature and we are filling the frame nicely everything that's in the photo from the stairs to the ropes in the background are helping to add to the story and the flow of everything looks really good very solid looks like we've got a drill team we could probably stand to have her kick that leg out a little bit more to give it a little bit more sass maybe her elbows out a little bit more as well and a little too much uh, well a little too tight in the frame in terms of the top of her hair to the top of the frame so we can stand and zoom out a little bit or again step back a little bit to help that uh, but as a whole very solid play on the left and the right which you'll have same with this one play on the left and the right you'll have but we can have this child either move over to the right or we can angle our camera to the left to help to center them with this picture we could fill the frame a lot more so we can have a lot more of the child their head should be a lot closer to the top of where the grass currently meets uh, looks like the horizon if you will uh, but very solid typical down on the knee photo uh, I love to see that back leg so we can either have them uh, kick that leg out or we could take a step over to the right which would help we could reposition the helmet and put that in between their legs which will help us to see that back leg and maybe even hide that string that's hanging down football we can put it a little bit more on the side so we can see the name of the team and a little bit more of the logo this one while it's solid uh, the young lady makes up the picture in other words we've got a hairband we've got some loose hairs on the left hand side and the way her legs is we're cropping we're cutting off her front toe and it looks like her back ankle so we either want to bring that in a little bit more and crop it a little higher or zoom out so that we're getting the full body truly of the photo uh, not crazy about the watch either bad to the bone first thing with this one is we need to fill the frame a lot more and put our kid in the middle of the frame right now we're cutting off a little bit of the toe we also have a ball where we can't see the logo or the name on it we can't help so much with the spill or the stain in the shirt but we definitely want to put them in the middle of this frame and fill it so that we're not cutting that toe off this one we can have the child slide over to the right or we can move our camera uh, very tight in the frame not very much play at the bottom of the photo at all uh, I'm not crazy about the positioning of the logo on the ball that could stand to be in a different place as well but as a whole we just want to have them bring this uh, the child over to the right a little bit more and zoom out a little bit more on this one this one here the child seems to be getting swallowed up in the picture uh, we definitely want to fill the frame a lot more with them turn that ball down so we can see the logo and have them step over to the right or we take a step over to the left you may be able to see a little bit of the outlet that's behind uh, the non ball hand side but again we want to fill the frame a lot more with this kid for this picture this one very tight on the bottom of the photo not very much play at all we love to turn the logo towards the camera as well great expression by the kid Again, we just want to zoom this one out a lot more or step back which is a common thing you've been hearing that way the kid is not dominating and they can look like uh, they're stopped pulling their shorts down on their uh, ball hand side if you will this kid is over pose meaning they're posing as if they're getting ready for an action shot or they're we're just taking action shots which is taken away from their faces which we want to see uh, the logo on the shirt possibly and, and even cutting off that ankle we definitely want to get the full body in this one we worked hard to get this pose we don't want to cut off half of it or a piece of it with that ankle let's just get the whole person this one's very tight on the ball hand side 
We can also turn the ball a little bit more towards us. As a whole, we need to zoom out a lot on this one or take a couple of steps back. If this picture was blown up to an 8x10, it would really dominate the frame, and anything bigger than that would look really strange. So we definitely want to keep uh, those things in mind. This one, the kid is being swallowed up by uh, the frame, so we want to fill the frame with them. We could also stand to move that helmet. It doesn't really seem to be enhancing the photo. It's just kind of in the way. They're kind of touching it. Don't really know what to do with it. We could stand to have the ball in the photo as well, which would probably help them. But as a whole, we may just need to scrap this pose and rebuild it. But we definitely need to fill the frame regardless. This one has a little bit much, too much play at the top as well. And we're cutting off them at the ankles at the bottom. I love the, the attempt to try something different. The pre-pitch pose is great. but We need to fill the frame a lot more. Probably crop this at about the knee. Maybe just a little bit higher to really get the full effect that we're looking for with this one. And maybe even turn their body towards the side and their head back towards the camera. Give it a little bit more of a, a depth, if you will. Not sure what we're going with with this one. She should definitely bring her leg down, uh, maybe even bring them both together. Uh, we don't have any play on the pom-pom side, uh, so it's a little bit too tight in the frame. We could take a couple steps back and zoom out and or, but uh, again, not sure where we're going with the pose on this one. She just seems to be sitting there kind of doing her own thing. This one here, she's dominating the frame just a little bit too much. We can zoom out or take a couple steps back, have her turn to either side, and turn her head back to the camera a little bit so that it's not so much of a direct front, but more of a modified front. And that'll give it a little bit more depth with this one. But we definitely need to zoom out or take a couple steps back. She's dominating the frame with this one. This one way too tight in the frame as you can see chopping off a little bit of the fingers on the ball hand side and a little bit of the fingers with the crop at the bottom as well. Take a couple steps back or zoom out with this one. Love the expression. Uh, we just got way too much kid in the frame. It looks like maybe either their shorts are turned or their legs are turned a little bit too much at the bottom. Uh, we could have them turn back their body towards us just a taste. This one, we need to have her bring her chin up just a little bit. Love how that leg's kicked out. Definitely great attitude. But we want to fill the frame a lot more. The pom-pom that's up should be way higher in the photo because we should be filling this frame with her. Uh, we can definitely stand to, to zoom in a little bit more with this one. And again, have her bring her chin up so we can see her better. A couple things with this for starters. We can have him turn his whole body towards the camera a little bit more. So it's not so much of a struggle for him to get his head around. It looks as almost as if he's not even looking at us. And that may be because his body's turned away from the camera too much. If we fill the frame with him a lot more, we should be able to alleviate the lights that's on the wall behind them. And also cut down on some of that shadow on the left hand side. Thanks again for stopping by our YouTube channel. Hopefully you've seen a lot of good things that you've enjoyed, given us some thumbs up and some likes along the way, and had a chance to share this channel with some of your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe now for all of our latest contents and updates which are to come. Thanks again for stopping by. Once again, I am Lemire T, and you are not.